Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about unicellular and multicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms have only one cell. Unicellular organisms can be both eukaryotic and prokaryotic. For example, bacteria are unicellular organisms that are prokaryotic, which means they do not have a nucleus or membrane-bound organelles. Euglena and paramecium's are unicellular organisms that are eukaryotic and they have a nucleus and membrane bound organelles. Let's take a look at some examples. Some unicellular organisms live in extreme environments like hot springs or in the stomach of a cow. Multicellular organisms have two or more cells. All multicellular organisms are eukaryotic. Some examples are frogs, dogs, and humans. All multicellular organisms start as a single cell, and as the cell multiplies, the cells start to specialize into different types of cells. For example, in humans, cells become tissues, then tissues form organs, Organs are organized into organ systems, and organ systems create organisms. So in summary, unicellular organisms have one cell. Multicellular organisms have two or more. Thanks for watching, and Moo Math uploads a new math and science every day. Please subscribe and share.